Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to divide fractions by mixed numbers. And we have two examples that we're going to go through together in order to get this down. So let's jump into number one, where we have one fourth divided by two and two fifths. So the steps that we're going to take to solve these are at the top of the screen. And the first thing we need to do is rewrite this problem with any mixed numbers changed to improper fractions. So we'll rewrite one fourth already in fractional form here, divided by, well, let's change two and two fifths to an improper fraction. And we do that by starting at the bottom and working our way up. So we multiply and then add. 5 times 2 is 10, plus 2 is 12. Keep our denominator of 5 the same. So now we just have a numerator, 12, and a denominator, 5, and we're able to continue on. So the next step is keep, switch, flip, KSF. So those are the steps of dividing fractions. So we always keep our first fraction. We're going to rewrite the problem again here. Keep, switch it to a multiplication problem here. Switch the division sign to multiplication. And since we switched to the opposite of division, multiplication, we need to flip our second fraction. So flip, meaning the five is going to be the numerator now, and the 12 is going to be the denominator. So five, and then 12. Now we're ready to multiply straight across and get our answer. But before doing so, we can always check to see if there is any opportunity for a cancellation, which you can think of as simplifying the problem before multiplying straight across. So we need to look for common factors between the numerators, top numbers, and denominators, bottom numbers. The only common factors within this problem are uh, one, so that means we cannot use cancellation and we're ready to multiply straight across. So one times five is five, and four times 12 is 48. Five over 48 is our final answer, but always look to see if you can simplify. And in the case of number one, the greatest common factor between five and 48 is one. So we are in simplest form, so five over 48. All right, let's move on to number two here, where we have five eighths divided by six and two thirds. So first thing we need to do, rewrite the problem with any mixed numbers converted to improper fractions. So five eighths, we keep the same here, it's in fractional form, divided by, start at the bottom, work our way up, multiply, and then add. So three times six is 18, plus two is 20. Denominator of three stays the same. So now we're all set up and we can go through our dividing fractions steps. So keep, switch, flip. So always keep the first fraction. Switch to multiplication and then flip. So we have three over 20 now. Now we're able to solve and multiply straight across, but you can look for cancellation if you want to look to simplify the problem before multiplying straight across. And in the case of number two, we can use uh, cross cancellation here because we do have some common factors between our numerators and denominators other than one. So in particular, our five and 20 there has a greatest common factor of five. So we can divide both of them by five. 5 divided by 5 is 1. 20 divided by 5 is 4. Looking at the 3 and the 8 now, the only common factor between those two numbers is 1, so we are done with any cancellation that we are able to do. So we are ready to multiply straight across now. And that cancellation gave us some smaller numbers and value to work with and therefore made everything a little bit easier. So one times three is going to give us three and eight times four gives us an answer of 32. So we get to three over 32, look to see if we can simplify, 
but um, in the case of that answer, it is in simplest form. The only uh, common factor between 3 and 32 is 1, and therefore the greatest common factor. That means we are in simplest form. Our final answer there. I do want to show you what would happen if we didn't use cancellation, and you would get to um, the same correct answer. So if you're not using cancellation, that's okay. You use the same steps. You're just going to... Uh, let me actually write it out here. We would get 5 times 3 is 15. 8 times 20 is 160. So uh, then we would have to simplify that because 15 and 160 has a greatest common factor of 5. So we can divide both by 5 here. And we would end up with... 3 over 32. So we got to the same answer. We just had to simplify more at the end there rather than simplifying before multiplying straight across. So there you have it. There's how you divide fractions by mixed numbers. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.